man, oh man, there's nothing like it. Be grateful. Well, this thing was a high 15, 16. Just thought it was another nail in here, but this doesn't look like a nail. This looks a little bit more like an old religious medallion, possibly. Yep, that's what it is. A religious medallion. I figured I'd dig this target live. It's a 30, so it's typically a quarter. Right on the top, it's not deep, but I have found silver quarters here before. So let's see if I can get this on the first scoop. But if it's on the top, I don't think it would be silver. Yep, to the scoop. Yeah, it doesn't look silver, but it is a quarter. No, it's not silver. It's actually kind of newer. Oh, it's on the top, so. So funny, I'm walking past here looking at all these little holes dug up. And I'm wondering, oh, who got here before us today? Doing some digging. This bottle's pulled up. It's all these little tiny holes. I'm saying it's the tiniest sand scooper. It's not a human doing the digging. It's a little raccoon. Look at all the little holes he's digging up, looking for clams. There's another one over here. And he is pulling up little broken bottles. Isn't that funny? Little bugger. Came right from there. Here's Maddie. Oh, just showing a quick target, brass piece, little hook, coat hanger. But it's brass, so we'll see if we got an old spot here. Anything yet? There's a lot of targets here. A lot of targets? Just got my first slightly older relic, the top of an old pen. And right after that hanger, I picked up what might be a silver dime. I have to uh, see if I could get a date. like it might be from the side. Now we don't mind finding a little lead ball amongst a gazillion fishing sinkers. That might tell you something about the area yet. See that little flat piece? That's not a fishing sinker. Well, the signal told me it was gold, but That'd be one superior looking earring if that was all gold. And yeah, we'll see. Yeah, absolutely amazing. After pulling out that earring and basically getting nothing else the whole day, my very next signal is a kind of encrusted mercury dime. That stuff will chip off, which will bring out a lot of the detail of the coin. 
and we'll probably be able to get a date on it. Well, I knew this had a little bit more of a signal than a quarter. That's a really nice, <clears throat> probably 40s to 50s sterling silver miraculous metal. This looks like there's a date on the bottom. And it's funny, only about <clears throat> 10 feet away from where my brother said he got one of these. You're gonna see a picture of what he got about an hour ago. Strange that they're both in a similar area. Should have stayed in the water. We finished up after about, mm, when did we get here? We got here at 6.15 to 9.15, three hours, and I'm about to show you our junk and our good finds. Did you find anything decent today? You might be better off just looking inside my car for coins. There's nothing I like more than a big pile of dirt. I mean, you gotta scan this dirt, especially when it's from about five or six feet deep, because you may not find anything there besides one little, oh, what's that, a strange cap? Huh. Maybe not as old as I thought it was. What the heck is that? I don't think that's that old, unfortunately. Look at the top of this thing. I just saw a junky beer bottle there, but I took two steps forward. And there's something really intriguing right here. What is this? Oh man, oh man. Tell me you just have a broken handle. You do. But the rest of you... Pretty cool. Look at this. All right. What else does the top of this thing show? How old are you? You're looking like an old rolling rock. Twist off. So I'll keep it anyway. Tiny little bottle. There is something right there with some embossing on it. And I want it. I just gotta get over there somehow. Not my favorite position to be in. 
this much mud. So I'm gonna put you down for a second, see if I can grab that. Oh man, oh man, it was worth coming in for. I think that's a really old mason jar. Obviously I haven't been able to clean it up yet. I'm just gonna be able to grab it and get out of this mud. But that was worth coming in for. Another piece that just got pushed up. Son of a gun, let me find some water to clean this up. Well, that was convenient. I just cleaned her off. Atlas Mason's patent, you see the bubbles in it. I'm gonna go with probably 1910 maybe. In perfect shape. 